You guys already know from the title, I'm going to be testing out some viral TikTok makeup and rating them. I mean, pretty much I've tried all of them already, but I haven't used them in a while. And also, if you guys didn't know they were viral or you don't have TikTok, these are the products that are basically popping off on social media that everyone is loving, everyone is buying. Not only that as well, but I wanted to rate them, you know, give them like a out of 10 kind of situation. So that should be interesting because I feel like on YouTube or just in general, like no one really rates makeup. You know, like how you rate food, right? I feel like we should be rating makeup. Um, so that is what I'm gonna be doing today. So first, this is the most viral product I feel like on TikTok and for good reason, because it is honestly, such a great makeup product. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, which of course is just going absolutely viral. You know, every single year it continues to be viral on TikTok. I have mine in the shade number two light, um, which is a little bit too dark for me, but I'm still gonna go ahead and apply it. And this is basically, if you've never ever bought this product, which I know a lot of people haven't, um, I'm, going to explain what this is and it's basically just a very glowy but sheer product that gives you a little bit of color and coverage so it's not a foundation it's not a liquid highlighter it's almost like an infusion of it being a liquid highlighter with like a skin tint is how I would describe this product um, because it still does definitely like even out your skin tone and gives you like ever so slight coverage but it just gives you this like beautiful skin luminosity. I don't know, like I I just, I absolutely love it and everyone, everyone loves it, you know? It's just such a good glowy base. Now you can use this product in so many different ways as well. That's why it's like so versatile. You can use it just like this and walk out the house with beautiful, look at, look at that, like what it did to my skin instantly, you know? crazy stuff you can walk out the house just like this you can go to the beach with this just evens out the skin with a little bit of like this added glow so your skin looks very healthy oh my god i love it or you can use it as your um as your foundation primer you can use it before foundation which is what i am doing today on its own absolutely flawless looking. So yeah, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I honestly would probably give this like a nine out of 10 because the shade isn't the great shade, a great shade for me, but even then I feel like it could be a tad more like um, moisturizing, uh, nine out of 10, absolutely flawless looking super glowy i also will say it is i mean it's worth the price but it is a little pricey as well so that kind of brings down a little rating for me but yeah it is absolutely beautiful so that is something that is just always going to stay viral i feel like there are two foundations that have also been viral on tiktok and it's these two so we have the nars light reflecting foundation and we have the charlotte tilbury beautiful skin foundation now these are both very dewy. Again, there's always a theme, I feel like, with TikTok with dewy skin or, like, minimal makeup. I feel like that is just the kind of go-to on TikTok. I feel like there isn't, like, that. You know how Instagram is, like, full cut crease glam, that kind of stuff? I feel like TikTok is more, like, lip oils and dewy skin and minimal makeup. And these two foundations fit into that kind of style of makeup. And that's why they've been viral. So I don't know which one I'm going to be using today. I feel like I'm leaning more towards the NARS light reflecting one because the Charlotte Tilbury one I do like, but um, I just don't feel like wearing this one today. This one is great. It's a like medium coverage. It has a beautiful luminous finish, um, but it is a little on the thicker side, I feel like. Whereas the NARS one is a lot more liquidy, a lot more runny, still gives you a radiant finish. And I don't know, I feel like this just sits better on the skin. I feel like a lot of people are gonna love this foundation a little more. I think if you have oily skin, you can still wear this and have like a dewy finish. Whereas this, I heard, hasn't been great on oily skin. So I'm gonna go in with the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation in the shade Gobi. And this is also a medium, like, well, medium to full coverage, I'd say. Yeah, flawless, absolutely flawless. I like foundations like this. I mean, NARS never fails with their foundations, I feel like, but I like foundations like this where I feel like it just has this really, really, really fresh look to the skin. Of course, the Charlotte Tilbury 
Hollywood Flawless Filter is definitely helping my skin look nice and, you know, healthy looking. But even if you didn't use a product like that underneath and you just used a regular primer or moisturizer, this NARS foundation, honestly, is so moisturizing, so luminous, so healthy looking, so glowy. Um, and it's honestly just one of the best high-end foundations that I have in my collection and that I've tried. My skin still looks like skin. It's got like this elasticity to it. Does that make sense? Like it just looks very plump, very healthy looking. Love it. Nine out of 10 for that, for sure. Definitely deserves to be viral. Now, another product, this one is the Makeup Revolution Eye Bright Concealer. This stays on top of being like, I think one of the most popular concealers on TikTok. This is the Eye Bright Illuminating Under Eye Concealer in Fair with Vitamin C. And this is basically just a very, very luminous concealer. Now with this one, I don't think it gives much coverage. It gives you definitely a very, as you can see, shiny under eye. Some people may love it, some people may not. I personally love it because I have dry skin, so I need anything that's gonna make me look very awake. Underneath the eyes, honestly, there's no sparkle, there's no glitter. Um, it's very, 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 like just almost naturally glowy, if that makes sense, without all that shimmer. I really love how it just makes my under eyes look very fresh and awake. Now, I would probably give this like an 8 out of 10 because I do feel like there isn't really much coverage. It's more of just a like a glowy under eye kind of product. But if you're wanting to get like a lot of coverage and to cover dark circles or anything like that, this is not going to be that concealer. You couldn't even use this to put on blemishes to cover any blemishes because it's actually ju just going to accentuate your blemishes, which you don't want. So this concealer right here is is more for like just maybe layering. So use a concealer that's full coverage that's actually gonna cover and then put this on top to just add a little bit of luminosity. But if you are using this to actually conceal with, it's not for that reason. So I don't think they should have called it a, con a concealer. I think they should have just called it like an under eye brightener, but it literally says concealer right here. So yeah, you can layer it, which is great as well. It's very lightweight, very thin underneath the eyes. It looks insane like it's so beautiful looking but again it doesn't really cover so i'm still left with you know a little bit of darkness underneath my eyes so again i'd rate that like a 8 out of 10 i'd say but the luminosity is definitely really there so to set my under eyes i am going to go into a product that i think not only is viral on tiktok but also on youtube um and that and instagram and that is the halo glow powder from elf but specifically in the shade light pink i don't know what it is with this light pink under eye trend going around but Everyone has been using a light pink under eye powder and it's just been brightening their under eyes. So this is the one that I have in light pink from e.l.f. and I am going to be setting my under eyes with this. So it's just a really nice pale pink, which is going to brighten, but also set your concealer. I'm going to be using that with a brush like this. I'm not gonna put this all over my face because everyone just uses it for underneath the eyes mainly. And this is honestly such a great powder. Now it's called the Halo Glow Powder. Don't be alarmed, there is no glitter whatsoever in this powder. I mean, there is like, if you really were to look into it, there is a sheen, you know, a little bit of a sheen, but there isn't like sparkle, does that make sense? So, you know, your under eye is not going to be looking sparkly or glittery, so you don't have to worry about that. And look at that. What do you guys think? With powder or without? So with the powder, it definitely does set the concealer, but also just adds a very fair amount of brightness. And I love the pink because it's just different to like a regular translucent powder like we would normally use. Um, and this just further adds a little bit of brightness, a little bit of a glow. Uh, this all over the skin, this powder is amazing. I also have it in the shade light. And I think I like the light shade a lot more. I would also give this like an 8 out of 10. Um, I would give the light shade that I have a 9 out of 10. or pre No, I'd give that a 10 out of 10. But the light pink, I'll give it 8 out of 10. Only because I can't really see like any pink from it. And I do feel like the light shade that I have has a little more like almost coverage. I don't know. I just feel like it does a little bit more brightening almost. Whereas the light pink is just kind of blending into my skin. I think the light one is a little lighter 
on my skin. So this is really pretty. It just like sets that concealer so it takes down a little bit of shine, but still keeps the luminosity because it is a glowier powder. So it doesn't look completely matte underneath the eyes. So this powder is perfect if you're using a dewy foundation and you want to set that dewy foundation, but you don't want it to set matte because then it just takes away from it being dewy. So then you go in with a glowy powder like this, which is still going to keep that luminosity. Another powder that has also been very viral is the e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation. This has honestly been just a crazy 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 powder um it's very full coverage it's very smooth very silky it's very good um so i'm going to be setting my foundation with this this is great on its own but also on top of powder i mean on top of liquid foundation and this is just making the skin look at that instantly smooth and full coverage like my skin is so full coverage right now. The only downside to this powder is it's very um, like powdery or like in the pan, not on the skin, but in the pan it has tons of fallout. It's very, very, very messy. But the finish and how it looks on the skin is incredible. I would give this also an eight out of 10. I feel like these shades could be a little better because it looks great in the pan, but then it comes out a little darker and I just don't like the whole like messy falloutness. Like you can see it's piling up right here. There's so much fallout, so flawless. Like you guys are probably thinking, oh no, it's just the studio lights. Like it's washing me out or something like that. Like, no, lighting is great. Like it is flawless, flawless. And even more so in person. So I don't actually have a bronzer that went viral, like that I actually have in my collection. So I'm going to skip that and go straight into blush. So I'm not too sure if this product is viral in the US, but in the UK, this is, as you guys know, on TikTok shop. And I also don't know if TikTok shop is available in the US, but I know it is a UK thing. So you can actually shop products um, like you can on Instagram. You can shop products on TikTok. Let me know if you guys are in the US if TikTok, if your TikTok has that like feature. But in the UK, we have TikTok shop. So when someone's showing something in a video, you can actually buy it as well. Um, and these, I think you guys know already, have been absolutely viral. I think it is um, named the number one brand on TikTok um, for the UK and that is Made by Mitchell. So Made by Mitchell, um, he's a makeup artist and he has his own brand and these liquid blushes have been absolutely viral on TikTok, at least for the UK. We have peach sugar and mango daiquiri, which I don't think I've used. I know I used a peach one a few months ago, a couple months ago and I loved it. I can't remember which peach it was because he has a few peach blushes. But I think I'm going to go in with the mango one because it's something fun. Oh my god, look at that. Should we do that? Is that too crazy? <gasps> Let's be bold. So I'm going to go in with the Mango Daiquiri Liquid Blush is what they're called from Made by Mitchell. Oh my god, I am so terrified right now. What have I done? Oh my gosh. Wait, that is really pretty. Wait. Wait, that is really pretty, but they do dry down so quickly and it's like taking off my foundation. Wait, that is so pretty. And it's not as bright as I thought it would be. Oh my God, this is so nice. Look at that. It's like a yellowy orange blush. Like it just reminds me of like the color of the sun. I know that sounds really weird, but that's how I imagine it. This is my first time ever, ever, ever trying like a blush shade like this. And it is so unique. Okay, I am not liking the formula. It's very patchy. It's lifting off a lot of the foundation and the powder. I know I should have put this before powder. That's fine. But I've tried other liquid blushes like the Rare Beauty one and they work fine on top of powder. So um, this formula dries down so quickly. Um, I don't know if that looks really weird now. It just looks very yellow on my cheeks. I don't know about that. Let me go in with the peach sugar. See if I can like blend a little bit of that in. I'd give the Mango Daiquiri, like the shade, I'd give it like a 7 out of 10. But the formula, I'd give it like a 4 out of 10. Yeah, even this one. It's completely just drying down. It's not blending. It's really, really, really patchy. 
actually I'd give the formula like a 2 out of 10. Yeah, I absolutely hate that. It's barely, barely, barely... Like, it's blending into the skin, but it's taking off all my foundation and my powder completely. You Can you guys see that? It's taking it all off. So you can actually see my skin peeking through. I'm going to cover that back up with a little bit of powder. It's a no from me. So that... I don't know why that's viral. Next, I'm going to be going into the Say Super Gel Glowy product. This is in the shade Star Glow. This one also has been very um, popular because it's, again, within that kind of like glowy, minimal makeup kind of um, theme, you know, with all the TikTok girls. And this one is basically just a very glowy product, very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury one, but without coverage and color. It's just more of like a liquid highlighter, but again, without the shimmer and the glitter. So it's just gonna give you a beautiful glowy, like dewy finish. Um, you can use this on its own. You can use it underneath foundation again, but because I used the Charlotte Tilbury one, I'm gonna use this as my liquid highlighter. So this product comes out like this if you guys can see. It is just going to provide you with this beautiful, like almost clear, there's barely like color to it, just clear, glowy finish. Look at that. And I've used this underneath foundation and I've loved it, but I haven't actually used it as liquid highlighter. So let's see if it's gonna take off my foundation. It feels really wet and like lightweight. It's not a thick product. It says gel, but it honestly is like a lot lighter than that. Almost just feels like water. Um, and that's really nice. It's taken off just a tiny bit amount of foundation, not too much. So this product would be great just with like liquids and creams, I would say. It's beautiful, right? Like it's just given a little bit of life back into the skin. I absolutely love that it doesn't have really much color because a lot of liquid highlighters or products tend to be very golden or yellow or very pink. So with this one, it's almost like you could use any blush, wear anything on the eyes, your even your outfit, and it would still just look very luminous without it being like a pink highlighter or gold highlighter, if that makes sense. So this is stunning. It just added like this very glass-like glow to the skin, like that Korean glass skin. I really like that for liquid highlighter and I didn't expect to like it that much. Next, we have a product from Refi, Refi um, which is a like, it's a very, again, kind of natural brand. Kind of reminds me of Glossier. Um, and this is the brow pencil in the shade Medium. This is what it looks like. Comes with a spoolie and then the tiny, tiny, tiny little brow pencil right there. So this brand in general is viral, even on Instagram. It's just known for like a lot of their brow products, their cream products, they have like cream bronzers. I'm gonna be using this. So just going to fill in my brows slightly. I really like the shade. I really, really, really like how pigmented it is without using too much. Like look, it just instantly, like it's got so much pigment, it's crazy. It just instantly like added definition and color through my brows. Now my brows are pretty, good i would say without any products so you know i don't want to fill them in too much because if i do it's going to look very 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 harsh um and i don't know how much more i can define them but look at, look how it's changed the color of my brows like it matches more with my hair it's added a lot more brown and i like that it's not like a orangey brown or reddish brown it's just like the perfect brown it's very 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 creamy um, I definitely would say if you are someone who always does your brows and literally can't leave the house without doing your brows or you are just a brow person, you're always looking for a brow product, 100% get this. I would rate this, oh, I didn't rate this this glowy super gel. I'd rate this a 10 out of 10. It's so good. Um, the brow pencil, I'd rate this definitely like, a, I'd say like an 8 out of 10 as well, only because... I feel like because it's so pigmented, you can easily get carried away with putting too much product in the brows. But honestly, 
It is probably one of the best brow pencils I have tried only because it's so creamy yet waxy. So it just glides through the brows, but it also stays put. So I really, really, really love. I don't know why I don't do my brows. Like that looks really good. What do you guys think? I feel like the color is perfect for my hair color. So that, you know what? I'm going to bump that up to a nine out of 10 because I think my brows look pretty good, especially with like eyeshadow and stuff when your face is all complete. Last but not least, I have this one right here. This is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump. I think you guys know all about this. This is in the shade White Peach. I have not tested this out. So this is my first time trying it. So I am very excited to test this out. This is basically a lip stick gloss plumper in one. So it's a very, very glossy, like, lipstick um almost kind of like a lip gloss and it's in the shade white peach they did have one called cherry blossom which was more pink but it was sold out so this basically is supposed to plump your lips so i'm just a bit scared because i don't really like plumping products because i hate how they make my lips like tingle and burn but this is the prettiest peach like shade i've ever seen and i really hope it comes out exactly like that on the lips i'm really scared okay Oh. <gasps> oh. Okay. Oh, it's, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the tingle. It's tingling. I love the shade. I love the finish. The finish is so glossy, so shiny. It's so pretty. It is the prettiest, just very natural peachy like just soft color on the lips i absolutely love how comfortable it feels so like creamy and glossy not sticky whatsoever there's absolutely no stickiness it's like a almost like a balmy kind of product two things one i really wish it was more pigmented because i'm i can just see my lip color still peeking through and it's, it's still sh quite sheer, even though it gives a little bit of like, like it gives color. Um, I still feel like I really wish it had more color payoff. Also, it's very, very, very cooling, tingling and very minty on the lips, which I am not a fan of usually. And that's what I'm getting right now. Like it just feels very, very cold and tingly. Maybe a little overhyped in my opinion. I don't feel like I'm wowed by it. But again, on top of maybe a lipstick, it might look great or maybe the other shades. So let me know what you guys think. But overall, it is a stunning, like just a glossy, peachy lip. Um, so yeah, great for those, like again, minimal days as well. So overall, I really, really, really liked the products. And I think they definitely deserve to be viral. Like, I think the ones that I would say don't deserve to be viral, of course, the Made by Mitchell blushes, the Tarte Lip Plump. Um, I would also probably say the um, under eye concealer because it's just not great really for concealer. Like it didn't cover too much. So yeah, that was my opinion on some of the viral TikTok makeup products. There are a ton more. So if you guys want to see a video like this again, do let me know. I can definitely do another like uh, full face using viral TikTok makeup or viral makeup in general it doesn't have to be specifically to tiktok but let me know if you guys have tried these products if you have which ones do you love if you don't love them let me know or if there is anything else um that you've tried that you love leave it down below and i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up and until next time i'll speak to you guys all in my next video